Hello, it's Marion Stewart and welcome to my weekly wisdom. Today I'm focusing on depression and menopause. And I'm doing that because I had someone on my boot camp recently who has been admitted to a mental hospital. She'd been sectioned four times because of her depression and anxiety. And it turned out that her symptoms were related to menopause. And I know that may sound a bit extreme, but I'm always hearing from women who are feeling very depressed, sometimes to the point of clinging on by their fingernails. And maybe they don't get put in hospital, but often they get put on antidepressants and they feel that they've got something mentally wrong with them. And I can remember years ago when I was running the advisory service and we were looking at women with PMS in those days and we did a study in the local psychiatric daycare center. So all the women had been labeled mentally ill, but in fact, when we did their before and after tests and we gave them a four month program, changed their diet, gave them some supplements, exercise and relaxation, they actually overcame their symptoms. So none of them needed their medication and they were able to get on with their lives. So you know if you are really depressed. If you've had clinical depression all your life, then of course you carry on with your doctor and you keep going with your medication. But if you feel you're going through the menopause and that antidepressants perhaps aren't appropriate for you, you can look at the alternatives and there are plenty of alternatives. In fact, there are some herbal remedies that are more commonly prescribed than antidepressants in countries like Germany by doctors. So sometimes there's a lack of education on the part of a doctor. And it does make me feel very upset, especially when I encounter women who are literally labeled mentally ill when I know they're not. And after a period of weeks or months, they just get symptom free and they're not depressed at all.